Hey, what's happening YouTube? Rod J back again. Take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by. Check out another video. We're going to take a little trip to Galesburg, Michigan, and we're going to check out Bell's Smitten Golden Rye. So this comes from Bell's Brewery out of Michigan. Comes in at an ABV of 6%, and it is a rye pale ale. Let's go ahead and get it open and get it into the glass. And there we go. You can see it nicely in the glass there. Came out with a nice two-finger head. Head has a nice foaminess to it. Uh, pretty much just off-white, kind of almost that eggshell color. You look at the uh, body of the beer itself, you can see it's very hazy. It has a nice chill haze on it. And this one is actually filtered in the can. So it'll tell you actually on here, unfiltered, unpasteurized, as you can see down the bottom, best keep refrigerated best keep best kept refrigerated you know we expect to have that haze on it since it is filtered in the can and as far as any particles or anything floating around don't see anything as of yet there are probably some in the bottom of the can so as I pour the rest in probably will get some of that little bit of sediment but that's okay it's not going to hurt you there you can make out some of the bubble action when you get a light behind it the carbonation looks very lively let's go ahead and get an aroma oh wow nice hoppy smell comes right out of the beer you get a great sense of that rye. Don't have to really breathe too hard. It just comes out of the glass nice and easy. That is a very nice smelling beer. Very resinous, very dank, really nice. I mean, I can't get over how good the aroma is on this one. But we know what you're here for. Let's go ahead and check the taste. Wow, big mouthfeel on a taste after you take that initial swallow. Hit with that bitterness up to the front. Didn't give the IBU on a can. I didn't find it anywhere online. If I happen to find it out, I'll put it in the description. But the IBU, whatever it is, it smooths out very nice on the back end. You get a very nice crisp break that actually goes down with no harshness whatsoever, no astringency back there. Sits on the palate with a nice, I would say medium body at the 6% ABV. The initial flavor, of course, is gonna be more of that hoppiness. And then uh, on the finished flavor, as I mentioned, that crisp break, but not too much hoppiness taking place as well. The duration of the finish is very nice. You're getting a duration of probably an average to long, so that makes it nice and wonderful as well. As far as anything else on the palate, I mentioned sits kind of as a medium body. The texture, nice and dry. Carbonation, very lively, um, but not over carbonated. You can feel the bubbles definitely doing their job. Not getting a uh, metallic taste really with it coming out of the can. Now they actually do make this one in can and bottle. So I actually got the can one here, 16 ounces versus 12. It's just simple math, people. It actually works out very nice. So as for me, as an overall rating on this one, I actually rate this one as a 3.5. I think it's a solidly drinkable beer, and I also think that it's one that's very pleasing and one that's very dependable. Whenever I have one of these, it always is as smooth as the last one I had before it. So nice, pleasing, dependable, easily goes down. If you've had this one before, let me know, put some comments in the comments section. Again, this is Bell's Smitten Golden Rye Ale. Definitely one you should check out. And I appreciate you swinging by to check out another video. Hopefully you like what you saw and always remember to like and subscribe. And with that, I'm gonna say cheers so I can finish getting back into this one here. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers.